A common question customers have when looking at anything new is, why should I buy this product? Having been with Apex Software for nearly two decades, I've had the opportunity to work with tens of thousands of customers and can confidently say, it's not what we do, it's how we do it. At Apex, we believe that anyone can create an application that draws shapes and calculates areas. But what sets our sketching tools apart from others is all the things they offer during the process that make things easier for the user. I'm Robert Smoot, and in this video, I'll show you a few editing tools that'll make drawing floor plans both easier and faster. Let's get started. All right, let's take a look at our first editing tool that we call Insert and Delete. Insert and Delete allows you to quickly go back and make changes to lines that you may have drawn incorrectly. Let's say that we're drawing this area along and we've come to this point where we're about to close the area and we look down at our tracking port and the call to point of beginning is showing 8.9 feet to the right and 14 feet up. But our notes show 6.9 feet to the right and 14 feet up. So somewhere between our notes and what we have on screen, there's a two foot discrepancy here. So we start looking at the lines that we've already drawn and we notice that this 22 foot line here is supposed to be 20 feet. So using this feature, I can press delete and keep pressing delete until the line is removed and then make my correction by typing in 20 feet to the left. And if this is the first time you've ever seen this feature, you're probably thinking, that's just great. I had to remove all those lines that I just drew and now I have to draw them all over again. That doesn't save me any time. Well, it's called insert and delete for a reason. And just as I deleted lines to remove them so that I can make the correction, I can also press insert, which will redraw all the lines that I previously deleted. And now when I look down at the tracking port, my call to point of beginning is showing 6.9 feet to the right and 14 feet up to match my notes. As you can see, Insert and Delete will save you a ton of time when you need to go back and make a quick correction. Insert and Delete is definitely effective if the correction you need to make is just a few lines back. But what if you have a really complex area, say it's 150 lines long, and your correction that you need to make is on the second line of the area? Well, you don't want to have to press Delete 148 times to go back and make the correction, and then press Insert 148 times to replace all the lines that you just deleted. So we have another form of edit that's called line edit. And you can get to that on your edit menu under line edit. Or as you can see in the tip there, you can also press control L. When I click on this, it changes the cursor to this dark cursor and it attaches it to the first line of the area. Now you can press tab to navigate around your area line for line throughout the entire area. Conversely, you can press shift tab which will move to the previous line until you reach the line that you want to change. Let's say that this 9.8 foot line was really supposed to be 12. I can press enter on it. It will remove that line and now I'll draw in the correction and you notice that that 12 foot line overshot that 4 foot line but that's okay. As soon as I press enter the rest of the area itself adjust to accommodate the change. And you notice that it automatically advances to the next line. That's so that you can continue to make more edits if you need to. Let's show that again. When I press tab, it goes to the 7.2 foot line. When I press enter, it removes it. And let's say this is supposed to be 5 feet. When I type in 5 feet down, you notice that it comes up short this time. When I press enter, it does the same thing that it did previously and adjust the area to accommodate the change. Let's go back and change those to what they were just to show this again. I'll change this 12 foot line back to 9.8. I'll press enter on it. 9.8 down. Comes up short. Press enter. The area adjusts. I'll press tab to the 5 foot line. I'll change that back to 7.2. Notice that it overshoots it. I'll press enter on it and the area adjusts again. Now when you're done with line edit, all you have to do is press escape and it will place the cursor back at the end of this area so that you can continue where you left off. That's line edit. Something to keep in mind when editing lines in Apex is that if you want to edit a line, the area must be open. So if I want to edit lines in this area, I have to reopen it. 
I can do this from the edit menu by choosing reopen area. When I click on this, if I only have one area in my sketch, it's going to ask me if I want to reopen that. If I have multiple areas in my sketch, it's going to ask me to pick from a list. But when I choose yes, it reopens the area at the point that it was last closed. So in this case, this was the point that it was last closed, and now I can use my insert and delete to go and make the changes that I need to make as we showed earlier. Or I can go into line edit and navigate to the line I want to change. And when I'm done, I can reclose my area and repost my area labels. But what if I don't want to open it at that point? Let's say I wanted to add something to a specific line of this area. Let's say that I forgot a bay window on this line here. So I want to reopen it at this point. So we can use what we call reopen area at. When you do this, what it does is it gives you a cursor very similar to line edit to where you can navigate to the point that you want to open the area from. And then when you press enter on it, it asks you if you want to reopen the area. If I choose yes here, it's going to reopen it right there at that spot. I'm going to hit escape because I want to show you something else. You can also click the line. You can right click on it and it's going to give you some options and one of them is reopen area here. When I click on that, it automatically reopens it and now you can add in the bay window. And then close the area and again repost the area labels. As you can see, Apex gives you peace of mind knowing that when you make a mistake, you can easily correct it. Thanks for watching.